G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and you might be wondering if you follow my videos regularly, what the hell happened to me over the last nine days? I haven't been uploading any videos, not even sort of small ones like this one. And uh, well, I, I'm still here, but there's been quite a lot of things happening. Um, and so I thought I'd just give you guys a bit of an update as we have a look around the orchard and the veggie garden and down the back of the chickens, see how everything's faring because just north of us, a, a cyclone hit Northern Australia, North Queensland, and we've got the after effects of that cyclone. I thought that we would have a look around at our place, which got a lot of rainfall, um, got hit by lightning, but not a lot of damage done except for a modem that that got fried which was quite amazing that that was the only thing that happened all our power went off just to our house i think it hit our house either directly or right next to us and uh, thankfully we had power surge protection on most of the house and it tripped our our, our box our electricity box but it wasn't good enough to help the modem which is connected to the telephone lines but anyway i had to get a new modem so we were offline for several days that was another reason why i couldn't upload anything um the the other well come on let's just keep walking and, and talking um oh let's have one of these that's a nice right panama berry here mm. a lot of people who try these berries just love them Tastes like fairy floss. I've done a video of that. The other thing was my wife, she was in town. And as, as a lot of you guys know, she works away. And I'm the home dad and trying to build an online career and a writing career with my blog, selfsufficientme.com, plus this YouTube channel and a few other things that I do. Uh, so she works hard, she's, she's away for a lot. And she was back last week. Uh, so that, with the cyclone, with the maiden going down, um, and my son's birthday party, he just turned 11. All those things combined meant that I couldn't get online and uh, post any YouTube videos for the last week or so. And uh, you know how much I love you guys. Uh, I really would have liked to have kept you updated. That's my excuses. I think they're pretty good, don't you reckon? Anyway, I have done a bit of gardening work, and so did my wife when she was here, Nina. Ginger's coming along nicely. We've been harvesting that as we need it. Beautiful ginger, probably because of all of this rainfall. Asparagus is starting to go to seed, which is normal for this time of year. A couple of shoots that we can still harvest and eat. It's just nice to see the sun out, to be honest. But uh, look, I'm not, I know the cyclone brought a lot of rain and devastation and they're still flooding down south and there's actually still flooding up north around Rockhampton as well today that I heard on the news. But the rain, the deep rain that we got here and the 150 or so mils that's fallen around here is going to do the underground aquifers really well and it's a, it's a godsend really because it'll get us through which we have typically dry winters here and, and into a dry spring. It'll, uh, it'll get us through and it'll be good. Not to mention all the fruit trees and all the trees in general will just love it. Plus the ducks. What are you guys up to? So the water did come up from the creek at the back here. It's a creek that usually runs dry for most of the year, but it can get full of water if we get a lot of rainfall. And the water came up to, oh, I think about the back, or the, not the boundary fence, which is where my dog is there, but this fence here, that's the dog proof fence 
for the free-ranging chicken area you can see where they've been scratching around they've just been scratching all this area up ducks have been beaking because it's all wet and muddy they've been loving it um, but the water came up to about here uh, sometimes it can get worse but we've never had water even in the floods in 2011 which flooded out Brisbane and that was worse uh, the water still only just came up to the edge of the chicken pen and uh, we've got a fairly we're on a fairly high hill here uh, so the house is pretty well protected although the neighbor down the back the water can get up close to their house and then it goes around to a causeway where it goes out into the river and then out to sea and sometimes that causeway can be cut off if you look at my history in some of my videos if you've only just um, subscribed or are just noticing this video we had a tree a big gum tree um, I don't know if you can see it through here but it, where the the chicken net is resting on on that stump that big gum tree fell across the chicken pen and done quite a lot of damage I had to fix that up we had a tree over here that got hit by lightning uh, not so long ago a um, few months ago and that's the remnants of it there where I've had to chop it up I've had to chop it up um, I think two trees got hit by lightning and caused quite a bit of damage and a, a lot of debris fell and I had to do a lot of chainsawing and that's also been videoized if that's a word uh, but apart from but this time the so-called cyclone and the after effects of the cyclone we've had hardly any tree damage um, uh, nothing really that's caused a lot of issue Yeah. We've got some potatoes growing in this bed here. Hoping to get a bit of a winter crop. Keeping things that we need to keep. Trimming up things like the mint. Keeping a few peppers, capsicum. You can see the Jerusalem artichoke, the, the flowers have all died off. The tubers are growing up and those plants will soon die back and we'll have a whole bunch of Jerusalem artichoke to eat. Not sure if I'm going to get much of a crop of rosellas, planted them a bit late. But we'll get enough for maybe a jar or two of jam. Got corn and cucumbers. That was a that, that this cucumber here self sowed. Corn's a bit small, but that'll still be okay. Egyptian spinach we've been eating quite a bit of. That's uh, that was been that has been brilliant through summer, giving us some greens where we just can't grow greens, you know, like lettuce and and other type of brassicas through summer here because it's just way too hot but now that winter's approaching we'll be able to stick in those winter crops and this is probably my favorite part part or time of the year coming up is transferring the the garden the veggie garden from the summer crops which we can't grow a lot of into the winter crops which we can just about grow most things through winter here the orchard is doing well there's a few trees that are flowering and fruiting like this Panama berry or fairy floss tree uh, a few fruits left on this pear the Nashi pear but apart from that there's really not much going on there's a loquat here that's flowering that'll probably start fruiting through winter hopefully we'll get some good fruit on it this this season the flowers are pretty insignificant but there's quite a lot of flowers on it and it's got a lot of it has got a lot of water so hopefully that will make it fruit 
yeah. And of course, all the citrus is doing quite well. Plenty of lemons, plenty of limes, lots of limes that we can harvest now. Lemons are starting to come on. We get the odd one that's ripe, but they're not that big, but they're ripening. Like I said, plenty of limes, beautiful limes, especially with all this rain. Yeah, the orchard's looking fantastic. Should have plenty of oranges and mandarins this coming winter. Anyway, I think that'll do it. I know it's um, a little bit of a ramble on as we walked around about Cyclone Debbie and what's been happening here and why I haven't been able to produce much content over this past week or so. You know, it was important for me to spend time with my wife. That's a way a lot earning the bickies while I'm here trying to establish my own writing career and online content creation career. And uh, then there was the cyclone, lots of rain, my son's party that we had to prepare for and, and do, which was very successful. And uh, yeah, in general, we've just been fairly busy and I haven't been able to get online as much as I would have liked. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget my blog, selfsufficientme.com and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Bye for now.